Buenos dias. Um, I am in Mexico. I came to Cancun last night and uh, I actually think I already made a video from this hotel room uh, last year because I stayed in the very same room. Uh, now it's like 6.30 in the morning and when I shared my work schedule map on Instagram I received some messages that I get to visit super interesting countries and whether I could make some uh, more videos or pictures I'm going to try my best usually when we work we are super busy so I don't really have time for that but uh, but yes today is the first day and uh, we are gonna go go and have breakfast. Well, today is the 31st of January and what is going to happen is that tomorrow I go to Belize and then from Belize to Guatemala, then to El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica um, and Panama. And uh, after that I'm going to fly to Costa Rica for like two weeks. So this is kind of the schedule for February. I left Portugal like two days ago, so I was still being super nostalgic. And there is still one more video from the Azores, um, which is kind of unfinished because things got wild and uh, it was like a super rainy day and I was cooking. But in the afternoon I ended up going to Ponta Delgada and getting a flight to Terceira. So everything was just so random and I I didn't even take like a single picture on Terceira. I was there for two days um, and then I came back to São Miguel for like one more week and then I arrived to Mexico yesterday. At 8 I have a work meeting, um, then I need to finish some stuff for work and then I'm probably going to go out because I did nothing all day yesterday, right? It was like a 12 hour flight, so... Now let me show you the view. I haven't seen it actually either. Now you don't see the beach, right? Because I'm staying in the city center of Cancun, like downtown. But look at this. That's Tulum uh, and tomorrow we go there. Let me show you the weather situation on Sao Miguel this morning and then we decide what we do. So yeah, that's it. I actually already decided what we are going to do today and uh, it's not gonna be much. It's also so cold. I have like four layers of clothes on because in Portugal it's not so common to have a heating system in the house and I don't really feel like studying today or doing anything for work or school. So we are going to check what's the weather like on the other parts of São Miguel. I usually check the weather here um, in this app or website which is called Spot Azores where you can um, see what's the weather like on different uh, parts of the island and it kind of seems like it's raining uh, everywhere. <laughs> By the way, the other day I was going through some of the emails I received from you guys and there were a few very interesting questions, especially about humidity because, well, that's the thing here um, in the winter. And some of the questions are maybe things that um, are interesting for everyone, whether some parts of São Miguel have better humidity conditions than the others or whether there are some microclimates and yes there are areas like that on the island so what i've heard is that villa franca is good and also the village of calora which is basically on the south of uh, the island and then there was another question regarding that i'm gonna read that uh, question to you let me find it have you met any scientific-based professionals on the island that know how to manage humidity well for the purpose of maintaining health, building, construction and so on? I did not meet any professionals on the island regarding this uh, topic, but I lived with a local family from here for more than a year, so I learned a lot 
from them. But yes, if I compare it to Slovakia, for example, it is quite different um, how things work here regarding this. Like you need to repaint your walls here um, every year or two. A lot of times you might have mold in the house. There are special anti-humidity bags where you can store your um, clothes and stuff, you know, so they don't get moldy. Yeah, the humidity really has an impact on the house, the clothes, the furniture, basically everything. It's just kind of necessary to learn how to uh, live with that, I guess. But the key step, I would say, is just to open the windows all the time. It's very, very important. Anyway, we could do some different kind of fun today. And uh, we are gonna go shopping and we are gonna cook some soup. I normally live in hotels, right? So there is no kitchen and we don't really have time uh, to cook anyway. But if I'm on the Azores, yeah, I try to do some stuff sometimes. Now, before I went to Peru, I never thought about putting a quinoa into the soup, but I was actually uh, very surprised. It's 12 degrees outside, you guys. This is the first time I'm bringing my jacket since... Uh, I came back to the Azores. Okay, let's check what we need to get from uh, the store. I have no quinoa at home. Uh, onion, garlic, carrots, potatoes, corn. Corn. Yeah, corn is a huge part of the culture in uh, South America and also Central America, especially uh, where those Maya people lived in the past and, well, they still... Uh, they still live there. They have soups from corn. They have a corn beer. They do tortillas from corn flour. So yeah, corn is a big thing. Uh, fresh spinach. Um, 